Hello and welcome to Iconic Brands. In today's episode I want to talk about car security. First of all we'll look at the 60s technology behind that security which revolves around this little key here. There it is, this little worn out key. It starts the engine, ignition and I'm going to show you what else it does. That key is your security and let's see how we can improve on that. Closed and now locked. So as you can see, uh, all the security is done through this little tiny worn out key from the 60s. I mean, look at that. Union key. There it goes. It starts the car. It opens both sides of the doors and it opens the hatchback as well. So how can we improve on that without spoiling the originality? I'd recommend a steering lock as being a useful deterrent against thieves. Simply locks on via this four-sided key we have here, which fits into there. You simply turn that to unlock it and lock it. And this drops down like so. And it folds up quite neatly. And it locks via the four-sided key there. That's something I would recommend for this style of car. A petrol locking cap would be advantageous as well. In this car as well I've got a hidden immobiliser switch which uh, for obvious reasons I cannot show you where that one is. With these extra security locks in place it doesn't mean to say that you still can't have your car stolen. Personally I think the most vulnerable time you would have the car stolen from you would be when you come to sell it actually and who comes to see the car. That's the most vulnerable time, in my opinion, for theft of these cars. And I have heard stories of people taking them for test rides and not coming back. So that's an important thing to remember when you do or if you want to sell your classic. Personally, I love the little silver key and I hope to have it for a long, long time as my security to start the car, to open all the doors and everything. But I really do need a little bit extra these days. If you enjoyed watching my videos, please subscribe and stay updated.